started spraying today. Took the wardrobes to bits, put the shelves back together. You can see they're pretty much full. I put these big ones at a nice level that I can just lift them on so they're not too heavy. Lighter things at the top. I need to separate these, that's all the frame up there. And the skirting and the cornice is hidden behind there. So I need to just juggle those a little bit. I might move some up here. It's arrived. It's a two part primer. Two part top coat. It's a grey. That's not grey. The catalyst there. And thinners. I had to buy some new filters, strainers, uh, 190s. Uh, I bought these from Carlock. So I've only got a few left there. It says on the box COB100, but inside the, the 190s. The new box costs about 13 something, just short of 14 pound. There's a hundred in there. They last me quite a long time. You can get them on eBay for about 14 pound. That's the number you're looking for. I've got some finer ones here that I use occasionally. Uh, 260s. I use them for filtering stains, but normally these ones, these ones do. These ones do everything. Now I have here a filter regulator. This goes to the spray gun, only to the spray gun. I gave the screen a wipe with some thinners one day and I think it's a plastic screen so it's made it go foggy but if I pull the trigger on the gun it goes to about 30 psi that suits me different people on different programs on YouTube say 20 psi, 15 you press the button on the bottom it releases any liquid that gets caught in there the spray guns are Deva Bliss FLG5 I think 1.8 nozzle in the end it gives a nice wide spray pattern it's a bit more than the width of my hand I'm spraying these backs first. I might be able to take them up to the job. Just put a coat of primer on. It's an off-white primer from an old job. That I'm going to use up for the inside. You can see these. This dark board. It was dark like this is. Covers differently to that one, which was a paler board like this. But I'll get a couple of coats of primer on and that should even it up a little bit a little bit of filling to do just there so the primer shows up any marks there's a very slight crack in the wood there I'm not worried about that I think that'll cover plus these are just the backs as you can see I ain't got room for the doors so I think they're gonna get done separately second job there's no room on the shelves there so I'm going to sand these with 120 120 on there because the little prickly that's what the first coat's for. I'll give them a quick dust over with that. Blow it down. Give them a second coat. 
and then I'm going to get another two or three coats of top coat on of the grey. I've given that a sand, get the nibbles off, feels a bit smoother now. I'll get a second coat on it. And when I sprayed that first coat, I know how much it took. This was full to the top, so it's two thirds down. I need to give it just one more coat. And once this stuff's mixed, you can't put it back in the tin. So I'm going to mix half a cup, I think. I don't want to have not enough. I prefer to have fractionally too much. Rinse my filter out. This is the slop that I, this is the thinners that I rinsed the tin filter out. I'm going there. And these have two to one or two to one. I use this top one to begin with, but I'm going to go this middle one now because I only want half a cup. Give it a good mix. I want to thin that down a little bit, so I'll use some of the thinners I rinsed the filters out with. Not a lot. this in here. I can tell how, how thin this is by how fast it goes through there. So I want to be at a pour at a steady rate and it flow through at a steady rate. much there. Never mind, I'll use it up somewhere. I've done the primer so I need to wash this out but I do quite a lazy clean you can see by the state of my guns that's the old thinners that I washed the filter out with give it a good shake and then if you just lightly put your finger over the end and pull the trigger That cleans out the reservoir or the mechanism inside here where the pin is. That then goes back in the tub. And give it a good wipe around the top. thinners in there. Do the same again. And 
and this one I'll spray through. Quite clean, you get a bit around the rim there, so wipe that off. Clean cloth. And finally some clean thinners, you see. See that's still quite clear, so I'll just blow this through. Occasionally, of course, I'll strip it and give it a proper clean, but that's that's no biggie. It's quite easy to do. Need my compressor in the background there. It's a 50 litre boss stitch. It's just about big enough. 100 litre would probably be better, but I paid about 250 quid or something for that, so I won't be changing that in a hurry. And this is a big red taxi blowing on it to keep it cool because sometimes I'm working it a bit hard when I'm spraying it's fine for all the airlines and stuff but it's not quite big enough for spraying really but like I say it won't be getting changed soon uh, I've got a fan up there I'm gonna put that on that speeds up the drying time quite a lot dramatically and that is the tin of paint to go on next it's a huge tin so I'm gonna go shopping and see if I can get a small container right time for some grey new filter new mixing cup new waste bin big ass tin so I'm going to pour some in this jug I've washed it out with soapy water and give it a wipe down with some thinners really don't want oil water silicone that's the worst one Put that there. I don't think I can pour this big tin into this little cup, so... Ooh. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Big stupid tin. So... Two to one again. Quite thick as this one. Thin it down a bit.
and as before give it a wash out tight or frugal with your bone That's the first coat of top coat. This board's gone on quite well. It's flattened off a lot since I sprayed it. This one's got quite open grain on it. Looks a bit rubbish, but it's the backboard. It's going to go behind the shelves, so I'm not too worried about it. There's a couple of marks here I wasn't happy with, so I filled them. That's dry, because send that off get a second coat on. Last coat probably. second coat's laid down quite flat. There's no sign of that filler that I put in the middle there. This board's still got a bit of open grain. There's a bit of paint left in there so I might just thin that down a little bit and give this another coat just to finish it off. <coughs> <coughs> 